Hello everyone, my name is Matt. Hello everyone, my name is Matthew. I'm also known as Foot Forward in the Dinar community. Today is September 21st, 2018. I wanted to do a quick update. Um, I feel a lot of this is going to sound awfully repetitive, but I feel I'm supposed to put some of this out here anyways. The political situation in Iraq. I couldn't care less who wins. I, I really don't. I don't feel it has any bearing on when the RV happens. For those of you who haven't been in this super long, there was uh, a guy named Maliki who was the Prime Minister of Iraq and people figured he had to get removed. A baddie was the guy. Um, once a baddie got in, everything would just be smooth sailing and we would have an RV. All this stuff that you're hearing now about how a baddie has to be removed is just a recycled news line. It's the same thing that we were talking about back in like 2011 and 12 and 13 and it just it doesn't matter who's in power in Iraq for this to happen because essentially the government of Iraq is not in control of this they haven't been since day one a lot of this is a circus act a lot of this is just designed to essentially make people crazy um, the hype train is real don't get on it because it'll actually make you crazy and make you get out of the investment um, the Lord had told me a lot of people were going to start selling their dinar before this happened. And sure enough, people are selling their dinar. The crazy thing, which absolutely blows my mind, is people are selling their dinar for Zim, which I still can't fathom. Because I don't have Zim. It's my personal opinion that the Zim is a scam. But I'm not a financial advisor. You shouldn't take any of this as financial advice. You shouldn't listen to me. You shouldn't do what I'm doing and... I don't know. Don't listen to me. You shouldn't be watching this. I think that's good enough for a disclaimer. Anyways, <clears throat> I think the Zim is a giant scam. I I don't feel it's going to revalue ever. And I think the scam was really easy because of people's greed. And I think the Dinar will be by far and away the big winner. I don't hold any Zim. I'm not fearful of, well, what if the Zim, hmm, God didn't tell me to get any Zim. For people who feel led to, do it. But understand, it might not be because there's a financial benefit to it. Sometimes God tells us to do things that don't make any rational sense. It's just part of faith. It's part of being obedient. It's part of walking as God tells us to walk. I don't think there's anything in the Zim. I don't. I don't have any. And if I'm wrong, a bunch of you will be super rich and a lot richer than I am. You can rub it in my face if you really want to. But... That doesn't really solve anything. Two things I really want to touch on. Actually, three. I wholeheartedly believe that Iran, Russia, and North Korea are in cahoots to try and take out Israel. That's why I believe God is going to kill Kim Jong-un. That's why I believe there's going to be a shakeup in Russia. Although, I don't feel like Putin dies. I feel there's a radical transformation at hand. I can't, under Ugh, I can't explain why. It's just what I perceive in my spirit. I also think Iran's government is going to be run out, their nuclear sites are going to be destroyed, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I still stand by what I've been saying, that uh, when the Iran nuclear sites get hit, that's when the RV will happen, within days of that happening. So, people have this mindset of like, well, I need the dinar to be rich, and I need this to happen because my finances are in ruins. If your finances are in ruins and things just aren't going well in your life, the dinar will not fix that. We need to be prosperous in our souls. We need to stop having these poverty-type mindsets. We need to stop having this expectation that everything will go wrong. We need to start relying on God, not the dinar, not the RV, not the Zim, not anything else. God has to be our source. God told us to have faith for things. He didn't tell us to have the money to pay for them. We need to get back to having faith, believing in God, trusting in Him. And if the dinar isn't going to happen for, you know, six months, another year, I look at that as an opportunity to get more dinar. I used to be like you guys. I, I would, or a lot of you anyways, 
you know, I want the RV because I want to have money and I want to be able to move on. Well, my mindset has changed. I know this is going to happen. I have no doubt about that. I'm not sitting here saying, well, if it happens, when it happens, and you know, it might happen, and hey, well, this is a lottery ticket. It's not a lottery ticket. It's an investment. I'm invested in this in an expectation of a massive return. I expect this to happen. I also am looking at it as an opportunity that the if the RV doesn't happen for another six months or another year, that's an opportunity to get more dinar. I'm okay with that. It means a bigger payoff. Yeah, it might mean that, you know, we don't have as much in the meantime, but God also has a million, he has countless numbers of ways to get us more than enough money. So we need to stop having that poverty type mentality. We need to be praying, we need to be diligent, and we also need to be dealing with this mindset of I'm just going to take my money and run. God isn't giving us this money to just hide up in the mountains, not giving us this mount, this money to just sit on and stow away. We need to be givers, we need to be generous, we need to be sowing, we need to be putting this money to work where God asks us to put it to work, we need to be seeking him, and we need to have an expectation of increase. This is not the biggest amount of money we are ever going to receive. That's my mindset. I'm going to go from millions to billions. That's... That's where I'm going. I would like many of you to come with me because there's a lot of work that needs to be done and money is a tool that we need to make that happen. Do not run for the hills. Don't go build a fortress in the mountains. The world isn't ending yet. We have work to do. Let's be mindful of that. I think that's really all I have at the moment. Probably quite boring. I'm also praying for a rate over 650. Just saying. Bless you guys. I hope you're well. And I just release blessings and prosperity and increase and revelation over all of you. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to share this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Twitter. I will post that below. Thank you so much for watching. My goodness, I uh, was just uh, outside my home uh, and I got this message. So what I did was that I called... I call it a lot of people. Somebody is playing games on us. Or maybe they're just testing the system. But what am I talking about? I'm going to mention to you what exactly I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly what we talked about last night between me, Pastor McCoy, and Pastor... Stephen McGrary and you're gonna trip out watch you're gonna trip out um, this show is gonna bring you a lot of questions I don't have all the answers which that's fine but um, something ugly is about to happen I can guarantee you that. So let me call my pastor. And we're going to discuss this. And um, Jesus, I'm telling you right now. Um, there's a lot of things that I need to know. Why these things are happening. Uh, I'm just going to let myself go. Let's see what happened. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Alrighty. <laughs> so did I you? Just, uh, yes, I was just telling uh, the Jets about. By the way, did you like the song? <laughs> yes. Did you steal that off my wall? <laughs> oh my God. That's a beautiful song, isn't it? I love that song. I do. Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah, that was a beautiful song. Yeah, she's very popular. Yeah, and you know, that's the beautiful, that's the best pray, praising so far. Yes, yeah. That's the best. And it's the Psalms, yeah. Psalm 24, right? Awesome. Yeah, so, oh my goodness. Anyway, as you know, this this show is not um, to be invested in the Iraqi dinar. All right, uh, sorry <laughs> for that. Sorry. <laughs> they send me a lot of, they send me a lot of messages. Oh, anyway, it's okay. Anyway, so this show is not, uh, you know, profit. We don't get, we don't earn anything. 
when I bring something, you know, it's something that is cheap. Uh, basically, no, no, nothing, nothing to spend. So if you see this, this thing is brought to you is, you know, basically so you can invest, but it, I'm not selling anything. Okay. And just for, uh, for that, uh, Nancy Evans, that's Nancy Evans. She's one of my jets. She lives in Australia. She uh, sent yeah. me a bottle of Gambi Brew. Now, for those who've been for those who've been uh, following me, I talk about Gambi Brew a long time, mm -hmm. and I told you that this thing it make you have a lot of energy. As you get older, you lose that kind of energy, and this, if you put it in water. You know, you could put it in a pitch and just put it in the ref and in the fridge and drink the whole water through the day. You will have a lot of energy. Besides that, if you if you go to her website, which is rosehipsskincare.com, you want to buy Gambi Brew, which I recommend. That's the one that I receiving. And by the way, um, Nancy, thank you so much. Man, I was like blessed when you sent me the box. Thank you so much for the bottom of my heart. Um, my mother loved it. This thing improves overall the well being and the health and vitality. It cleans and, oxy and oxygenate your body. It gives you boost, and I can tell you that it does give you boost. To the mm -hmm. immune system, improve your, improve your digestion, improve and appearance and skin tone. And count the body and mind. So no, she's not paying me a, a dime. Okay, I'm not getting no money out of it. All right, I'm not selling it. I'm promoting it, which is basically not the same. Uh, but I just tell you, let you guys know that uh, this this bottle is really good. I use it myself. My mother used it myself, and I recommend it. if you want to buy it, go to rosehipskincare.com. Ask for Nancy and tell. Tell Nancy, hey, uh, I'm one of I'm I'm one of the Jets. Benny recommend me, and I don't know, maybe she can give you a little discount. Okay, I don't know. I haven't talked to her, but I want to thank. I want to make a public a public thanks to Nancy Evans for giving me this bottle, this bottle, this box of, with a bottle, and I really appreciate it for the bottom of my heart. All righty then. So. Um, what else? Okay, so we're going to talk about what we talked last night. Okay. That's exciting. All right, so let me just tell you guys what happened last night. Okay, we were, <laughs> like, talking about, you know, personal matters. And, um, and all of a sudden, what did happen? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let, me, let, let me go back. <laughs> let me go back. <laughs> Let me go back to the, the post, okay? Let me go back to the post. And I'm going to explain to you why I posted. Uh, because somebody sent me the, the news. I already knew about the news. But I just didn't, it didn't quite click in my brain. Got it? It didn't quite click in my brain. And I was looking at it. Something st started speaking to me. You know, maybe the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And as I was talking to McCoy, my sister here. <laughs> I was like, tell him, tell him how I reacted. Tell him how, oh how, how tell him, tell him how I reacted with the Holy Ghost. I was a little worried he was going to. Gonna, <laughs> I tell was him. worried he was going to. He was cracking up. He was uh, screaming and praising God and laughing like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no way. I, I couldn't believe it. Like it was right in front of us, right? It was right in front of us. <laughs> we and, were talking uh, around the prophetic words. Yes. We were talking all around the Kim Clement. Oh, now and I we remember, were... yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, we were, yeah. We were yeah. talking about the prophetic word because, you know, we had to go through the whole prophetic word. By the way, we're going we're gonna to read the prophetic word of Kim Clement right now. Okay. And um, all of a sudden, I read that news. Was Many of you, some people, some of them just sent me the news, right? And this was between... Korea, the two Koreas, 
signing an agreement to guarantee that they will never attack to not each other. They will never go to a war. So forget about those nuclear war between Korea and North Korea, South Korea and North Korea. They just signed the agreement. Oh, that's how it started, right? Yes, you that's how it started. And as I was looking to the picture, as I was looking to that picture, I felt the Holy Ghost talking to me. And the Holy Ghost was, you know, Benny, who are you looking for? Because we were talking about the break in the system, right? Right, sister? That's true. Yes, we, we were. We were talking about the break in the system. Trying to we, figure it out. Trying to figure it out, okay? And it just clicked. And I said, wait a minute. <laughs> we were... We've been looking for the twins, right? Because, you know, the prophetic word of Solomon sa says that the signal, not the RB, but the signal of the, and by the way, let me just dedicate this show to Prophet John. John. Nick. Again, let me, let me dedicate it to John. Not John, if you listen to my show, please listen to our conversation. Maybe you're going to get shocked. Maybe not. Because you are way, way advanced than me, okay? So let's, let, let me just tell you what happened. And as I was talking to my sister in Christ, <laughs> <laughs> and then the Holy Ghost goes, Benny, why are you looking for? And I said, I'm looking for the twins in my mind, right? And then said, so what do you have in front of you? I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, the twins, you know, we call Iraq and Iran, the twins, right? We right. were looking for the twins. But they're not the only twins. <laughs> That's true. That's true. The twins are South Korea and North Korea. Right? So that's Amen. the signal. <laughs> that's the signal. Okay? Yeah. And, and it got better. Yeah, and it got better. Let me just tell you why it got better. John, I hope <laughs> that you're watching the news. I, wa I hope that you're watching my show. I'm going to show you something, guys. I'm going to show yeah. you something. It's going to really, you know, it's, it's going to really trip you. Watch. And then Stephen came on and, and he was and like, I what? I have to call it Stephen. <laughs> I have to call it Stephen. And uh, hold on. Let me just show you the computer. Let me show you the computer, guys. Okay. This is the picture. Oh, hold on. This is not, the, this is not the, hold on. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is the picture I'm talking about. Let me make it bigger. There you go. All right. So that's the picture. As the Holy Ghost was talking to me, and all of a sudden, I said, "What a minute! That's, those are the twins, Korea, <laughs> North Korea, and they signing the agreement never to, never to go to war anymore, and they are about to get united." Amen. That's what we're looking for. The signal of the ERB. When this happened. When this happened, will be the signal, and right after that, we're gonna have the RB. Amen. And they are, and that, let me tell you something. There is a, there's a, there is a prophet called K Kerr. K Kerr, right? Cat Kerr. Cat Kerr. Sorry about that. Cat Kerr said, she said that Korea, North Korea, will you unite as one country by this year? Amen. By this year, meaning that they are about to go united. When Amen. this happens, we're going to have the RB. Yep. Okay? And now, take a look at the date. <laughs> this is the date. September 18. The triple 18 prophecy of Pastor McCoy. <laughs> <laughs> now and only the triple that, nine. Check this out. Not only that, we talk about the triple 18, right? Yeah. And then we talk about the triple nine, isn't it? Yes. Take a look. A plus one, nine. Look at the time. A. Eight. Oh, one. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> oh, we were laughing and cracking we up all like time. laughing. You should have seen Pastor Mar uh, Margrary. She was like, he was tripping out. We're like, I can't <laughs> believe it. i looking at it. I can't believe it. He was like. And he was almost sleeping when I said, I can't believe it, Benny. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just looking at the time. <laughs> we were like laughing. I was, I even got the, uh, the Holy Ghost and started speaking in tongues. I was like, oh my God. 
Oh my God. Oh my, it was priceless. It was priceless, people. I'm telling you, it was priceless. Uh, and this uh, is how God talks. Yes, now, uh, yes. what exactly he's saying, like, like you said, you know, we have to discern the timing. We have to discern things, but it is a signal. It's yep. a sign saying, alert, look what's happening. Things are shifting. Now, take a look at the background. <laughs> take a look at the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's the oak tree. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the this, oak tree. Yes, this is what that gets the like. symbol of the RB. <laughs> Jazz, yeah. yes, you gotta see this, man. Johnny. <laughs> You gotta see that. You gotta tell me if I'm wrong or what. <laughs> I don't know, but we're sure Look having a lot back. of fun. It's the tree. <laughs> it's the old tree. <laughs> we didn't see that last night. That's the same. Yeah, I just right now. I just saw it. I was That's like, amazing. my God. <laughs> That's oh, the symbol. My. Even King Clement said, "That's the symbol of the RB." Amen. Amen. That's the symbol of the RB. That the oak tree. The oak tree is right here. Look. <laughs> That's amazing. God oh has a sense of humor. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he's pushing this through. Oh, this my. Is <laughs> this is what God even told me right from the beginning. Benny, I said, Benny, I'm going <laughs> to shock you, and I'm going to shock everybody. I was like, no way. <laughs> Oh, oh, praise God. Now, you see what I'm talking about? I love this it. This is what I'm talking about. I absolutely love you it. You know, this is this is this is how God works. You know, is, I call this his his thumbprint, his fingerprint. He's putting it everywhere so we can see uh the pathway, right? Yeah. We can Yeah. yeah. Oh man, my grave is like tripping out right now. I bet you. <laughs> oh my god he's like tripping out right now i'm telling you he was like oh, okay i can't believe it i can't believe i see it <laughs> well he was the one that said what about the triple nine right exactly he said, <laughs> yeah we were focused on the triple eight exactly no, no the triple 18 and he showed the 18 That's and right. now he showed the nine <laughs> <laughs> now nine ben huh? means divine completeness exactly right? yes so it's it's a, it's a sign of complete right yeah yeah oh my god this is something else <laughs> um i just got another video i'm gonna show you but i'm gonna show it to you later on um my god this is well this is it uh, johnny i hope that you like this show man i i dedicate it to you let's see what happened because right now God is showing us, you know, signals that is about to happen. We are yeah. going to get blessed. Uh, as you saw in the first video, that was my brother in Christ, Matthew, foot forward. Yeah. And, hey, we got to respect his opinion. Okay? We Absolutely. need to respect his opinion. Don't get offended. I even told you myself, if it was because of logic, I would have put a dime on the Zimbabwe. Okay? I even told you myself, if it wasn't because of logic, if it was just because of logic, I would not put a dime that we are going to exchange or even call it redeem the Zimbabwe. But it's not about logic. Now, everything is about logic. It's about faith. Okay? It's about Amen. faith. And if it was not, if I would have never... Uh, Listen to uh, uh, Prophet Emmanuel Makandewa. <laughs> I will have never put a dime on the Zimbabwe. Never. Mm. Okay? So that's what I'm telling you. Don't get offended. Yep. We all got different opinions. That's Go good. on with your life. Don't be easy offended. Don't be a snowflake. <laughs> all right? Hey, I got to say that what it is. You know, that's, that's because a lot of my people, a lot of my jets, some of them are 
liberals. Flaky, flaky. No, they're, they're liberals. No, they're oh, liberals. Oh, oh, Some oh, of them okay. are liberals. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. I was just talking to two of them. And, you know, I really think that, you know, the uh, that Trump is this and Trump is that. Okay, that's fine. You have your opinion. Absolutely. You know? You know, but they're liberals, right? So I go on with my life. I don't get offended. Nope. You know? I don't get offended. And if I, if I, I just block a lady, I block a lady because she comment very rudely. Okay. And then I block another idiot because she start, he start insulting me, insulting everybody. Mm. So like I said, if you don't want to be blocked by me, I invite you to go to, what's the name of the YouTube channel? <laughs> oh, community. Community something. Dinar chat with the uh, admin. Yeah, admin. Hey, and tell admin that I'm here because Benny kicked me out. Please tell him that. He's going to appreciate it. <laughs> All right? Please tell him that. Tell him, hey, Benny, give me a Come over here because Benny's an asshole, and he kicked me out because of my opinion. Go ahead. Tell him. <laughs> huh? Uh. Go ahead. Tell him. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Right? Yes, I promoted my friends. Are you kidding me? I promote... I promote my friends and my brothers in Christ. I w you will never listen. You will never see me attacking another Christian. Never. I may not be agree with them, but I'm not going to attack them. <gasps> listen, right? there's an ego on top of the tree. An it looks eagle? like an ego. Oh, or, look at this. Is it an ego or it an owl? A, no, it could be an ego. I think so, too. Somebody just sent a note to me. Yes, there's a little Lego here. <laughs> oh, my God. That's the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is... Uh... <laughs> This is the humor of God. In America, oh my God. <laughs> Stop it, Lord, please. <laughs> oh, I'm Lord. I'm going to have a heart attack. Oh, my oh. God, this is too much. Take a drink of water. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Notice, like I told you, notice that the, the, the news that they know it concerns you, that English is speaking, all right, they will never come out in English. It will only come out in Spanish. That's incredible. I told you, didn't I? I told you that the media, even Russian media, they do the same thing. They want to make sure that you're not well informed. They're going <laughs> to hide it, and they're going to give it to the people that they really don't give a damn, Latinos. The, the very few people that is in waiting for the uh, blessing are from Puerto Rico and very few from Mexico and Latin America. Very few. I can tell you the very few because I see the numbers. The numbers that I show on my Spanish show, very little. Very, very little. Mm. Okay? And the numbers in English, hey, my goodness. Thousand, five thousand, you know. So I know what I'm talking about. So this is the way they, they you never see it. You will never see it in English in the bro in network. You never see it in the media, in the social media. Mm -hmm. You only see until actually somebody like me, who is bilingual, will let you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this this is something that is is worth noticing. All right, so my goodness, so that's what happened. <laughs> so why I call it the break in the system with a question mark? Well, let me tell you what happened. Let me show you for those who are not in my Facebook page, why am I saying the break in the system? Well, for two reasons. Let me explain to you why. Number one, we're talking about the prophetic word, right? Let's Correct. go to the prophetic word. And then we're going to explain it better. Okay. All right. Let's go to the prophetic work. Prophetic word. 
All right, not work, but prophetic word. All right, here we go. Let me show you the prophetic word. For those who don't know the prophetic word. King Clement, it says, the spirit of God is speaking. Now, over the region of Iraq, over the region of Iraq, and the Middle East, and Southern Asia. Now, let me stop it right there. Korea and South Korea, North Korea and South Korea are not in Southern Asia. They are in East Asia. Mm -hmm. Okay? We got confused, right? Yeah, we were trying to, we, we mapped it. We were trying it. to actually, well, okay, so this is Southern Asia. I said, no, it's not Southern Asia. South Asia is, pay attention, if we check on the map, South Asia is Indonesia, yeah. Japan, China, okay? So there's going to be some, and I even told you guys, remember what I told you about China, right? That one of the biggest weapons that China has to win the trade war will be oil, which is the petrol uh, the, the, the petro yuan, and their currency. That will break the system. Watch. Okay? Because mm -hmm. God is telling us right here, he's speaking over the region of Iraq, and the region of Iran, and the Middle East, and Southern Asia. So he's speaking of those three areas. Amen. Okay? So we're, we're coming back on the next segment of the prophet, prophetic word. I am speaking that I'm releasing resources, and there will be a grave surrender. Now, the grave surrender... We know that it's probably a body that he just doesn't want to release the new, the new value of the dinar. Now, let me explain to you why Put Forward is 100% right when he said, I don't care who is the prime minister. I told you that the owners of the RB are not the government are the bankers okay so when the elite when the bankers tell their puppet which is a body hey we want to get paid he will release the value got it right now he just doesn't care right now because he doesn't want to be the prime minister there is nothing attaching him. The reason why these people that are corrupt, they go out with one administration after another is because behind him, all the corruption comes. So right now he said, no, I don't want this to be part of it. But he's doing a political move. I repeat, what he's doing is a political move because he knows the people of Iraq hate him. Nobody like him. Only the Ritas or the Gurus. Nobody like him because he's corrupt. And they consider him a puppet from Donald Trump. Now, when the elite tell him, look, we want to get paid, or we're going to get rid of you, that makes a lot of sense what Prophet Solomon said about him coming up and, and basically, basically release it, the RB, and then being worried about something that might happen to him. Not from the elite, but from the people of Iraq. So that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Got it? Because the prophetic word of, of, of Rosalind Solomon says that, that he, not the prophetic word, it's a prophetic dream, if I'm not mistaken, that he was going to release it after a meeting between a body and Donald Trump and Putin, if I'm not mistaken. The only way that they can get together in one place is coming. And what, where is that place? Well, let me tell you where. The United Nations meeting. Did you find out when they're gonna have the meeting? No, you didn't ask. Oh my goodness, can you please find out when they're going to have the meeting? 
We'll do it right now. Thank you. So they're supposed to have a meeting. They're all going to get together right there. And it makes a lot of sense. Before he leaves, he needs to relieve oh and real value. What happened? No way. Please don't tell me that. Don't, don't. Hold on. Let me drink a water, please. It's today. What? Today? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God is today? right. How many it's days today. is it going to last? Okay. To the 26th. To the... Five oh, days. The, oh, please don't tell the date that I told you. <laughs> I'm not saying don't nothing, tell man. tell the date, because I told her about the other day that, that Lee gave me, okay? <laughs> I'm not, lo I'm not yes, lying. Sir. I'm not lying. Johnny, I'm going to test you um, privately. I'm going to give you the other, the other day. Please do not mention the date. That's the other day of the elite. And I oh, told her, crazy. I told her, I haven't told my gravy. I told her I got another date. Yeah, Please don't tell anybody about this date. And the <laughs> reason why I don't want to talk about the, the date is because I want to get, get over this. I really want to get over it. I don't yeah. want the devil. I don't want the, the, the enemy. Stop it again. And you know, stop it again. I just don't. That's it. I'm done. I don't want to be the best uh, guru out there. I don't. I refuse that. I don't want to be the only guy that actually pinpointed when the RB will be. No, I don't want to be. I'm telling you. I'd rather to shut the hell up and just wait for the blessing. That's it. So I'm not going to release the date, but I'm telling you, it's very close. Okay? It's very close. That's all I got to tell you. And I even told her that. Mm -hmm. I even told her, look, this is the day they gave me. Please don't tell anybody. And now you're telling me that they have until when? The tw the and it finishes on the 26th. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy. I'm trying to find their schedule. I'm trying to find their meeting schedule. <laughs> okay, so the meeting started today. According to what my sister in Christ just found out about it. It's here on the web. <laughs> and uh, yeah, send me the <laughs> send me the link if you have oh, one. Okay. Yeah, uh, there's lots of them. Yeah. And um, well, let's continue with the prophetic word. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. It says um, I'm speaking. I'm speaking and releasing the resource, and there will be a grave surrender that will take place in the months to come. I want to free you, every one of you, my people, to be able to stretch out your hand to the lonely, to the hungry, to the poor, and feed them and clothe them. This is my desire, says the Lord. So when God speaks like this, it's a command. Okay? Not something that, oh, I just wish you to behave. No, no, no. God is telling you, this is my wish. You do it. Or you go broke. Sorry. I know many of you are not going to like this. I'm not here for your approval. But if you do not help the poor, the lonely, and you clothe them and you feed them, say goodbye to your exchange. Bottom line. Therefore, there shall be a break in the financial system. All right? He said, therefore, there shall be a break in the financial system. In the Middle East, the dinar. Now, this part right here of the, prophet, of the prophecy, it may look like attached to it, but I don't think it is attached. You're listening. I don't think it is attached. They are separate events. Now, I'm going to stop it right here, and I'm going to show you why did I call, and I said, we got a break in the system. I received a test for one of my jets. 
After I received a test for one of my jets, seven other people sent me the same test. Within that test, I posted on Facebook, and I'm going to show it to everybody, so you can see what I was talking about. Because not everybody is seeing my Facebook page. Right? Uh, Correct. So, so let me go back. Let me go down to the Facebook, to my Facebook post. Um, and also we're going to talk about the prophetic word of Lana Bowser, which goes directly to the United States. Um, hold on. Oh, I think I just passed it. Okay, hold on. Let me go all the way to the posting. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, yes, you have no ideas, no idea what I just found out about it. A lot of people were going, okay, what was it? What was it? All right, so, um, okay, hold on. Let me go to, to the posting. Where is, where is it? Where is the posting? It's got to be there yeah. somewhere. Yeah, hold on. Let me, I'm looking for it. I'm looking <clears throat> for it. Okay, here it is. I got it. All right. So, let me just, take a, let me just tell you what's the post, all right? I'm going to make it a little long, uh, bigger because I want to make sure that everybody see it. Okay, here we go. This is my posting. Breaking news, breaking news. We got the break in the system. I said bingo. I jump out because seven other people sent me the test. What is the test? They, they, they received the test not in Facebook. They received the test in their phones, in the phone uh -huh. devices. This was no private message from, from Facebook, people. It was something delivered by a system. What? Yes, it was something delivered by the system. Johnny, if you're watching the news, if you're watching my show, take a look at the test that many of my just received. All right? Take a look. This is the test. CNBC News alerts. Largest bank warns crisis, crash, and social unrest. Worse in 50 years. Is your account safe? Call free hotline and it gives a phone number. They even give you the test to stop, number two to stop it. This was an automatic message. They are preparing for the financial collapse. They were probably testing it, and many of you receive it. That's what I thought there was already the financial, financial crash. We talked about my last show when this guy was making up out of the, uh, uh, what is the name of that uh, holy day? The holiest day of the... Uh, the uh, Shemit, oh, um, Jean Kapoor, Yom, right? Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. And he raised that he studies his research that beginning yesterday we will have the first crash. Yeah. And I told you guys, if we have that if we have two crashes, that will give us enough time to exchange and diversify of deposits. That's all I gotta say. Right? But guess what? Oh my God! Here we go. He's, he comes another intel. Gonna give you. Are you ready? Have... <laughs> Are you ready? Oh my goodness, we're ready. All right, here we go. Hold on, guys. <laughs> Let me just take a little breath. <laughs> Let me take a little air. All right. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I got a doozy. I got a doozy too. Yeah. I've been told that, you know that the FISA documents that yeah. President Trump have released? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to show you the latest tweet from President Trump. Um, so let me just tell you what the tweet, okay? Let me just make this a little... Uh, smaller let me go back to the tweet of president donald trump that was my 
life as I was doing. And a treat says right here. I met with the Department of Justice concerning the declassification of various unreaded documents. That's the FISA. They agreed to release them by stating that so, do, by so doing may have a perceived negative impact on the Russia Pro, also key allies called to us not to release. Therefore, the Inspector General, and that's in the finish. So in other words, they are telling the President, President Trump, let me suggest you not to release it because you may lose some part of the government. <laughs> what did the Mark Taylor said? Yeah. Mark Taylor, Prophet Mark Taylor told us they need to be very careful because my Lord told me that if they're not careful, they're going to lose some parts of the government. Who is behind the Russia fiasco? Who is behind, behind those computer keys in the Democratic Party? Who is behind the corruption in our government? Who is behind those tests for a financial crash? Ladies and gentlemen, if Donald Trump release those documents and according to my sources they are telling me that many of the biggest banks are involved in this whole fiasco we are talking about massive collusion and massive arrests that will end the banking industry as we know it Wow. That is why many of you receive a test message. Many of you have been calling that number and got no one to answer it. <laughs> My goodness. Do you see how big it is? Oh my goodness. Do you have any idea how big it is this situation? And I bet you anything. My show will go viral right now. This is what the reset is all about, people. I've been telling you from the very beginning, some five, five years ago, I've been telling you, what is the reason? It's not about you and me to get filthy rich. It's about getting rid of corruption. It doesn't matter if you either, even for one day miraculously, you exchange or redeem your Zimbabwe. It will not matter at all. You know why? Because they can get rid of your money. They can steal it overnight. Simple. The big difference between me and all the gurus in the United Land, they keep telling you nothing's going to happen. They keep telling you that you will not get anything stolen by the banks. They keep telling you about procedures from banks when then these people have never even put a, a foot in the administration of a bank. They can bring in private groups and how those brokers are coming out and they're so glad and they don't want to <coughs> even buy you or your dinars or whatever they want to sell you. They can bring in lies and lies and lies all the time and not one has ever exchanged. <laughs> But then again, there is no fix for the stupidity because you have been brought to this situation because of one thing and one thing only. It's called greed. The love you of money. You have fall for the biggest lies and trick of the devil. Greed. Your human... Your humanitarian project mean nothing to the banks. I'm going to repeat that again. I'm going to make it very clear. Banks don't give a shit about your humanitarian projects at all. You've been brought to this, this, you, you, you've been brought to this situation. 
Because they've been managing you with fairy tales, lies. And watch what I'm telling you. Mark my words. As my God is witness, I'm going to prove to you one more time that you are not going to change if you are in a private group. You're not going to change in a private group, people. I'm not telling you this because I'm so jealous because you're going to be filthy rich. I'm telling you because you are wasting your energy and your time in this bullshit. There's nothing wrong about being transparent. I even make a show called Transparency. And that's one word you should learn. Transparency. Anything that is hidden under the table is going to be illegal. Watch. So, hold on. Somebody just sent me another video. What? I have a um, something to share. Go ahead. I'm searching for dates uh, regarding, and I was trying to find a schedule, haven't been able to find their schedule yet for the UN General Assembly that's taking place. Okay. And I found the opening date, Benny. What is it? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> it is September the 18th, Oh, my <laughs> September the 18th, they, they, they open back in September the 18th. Yeah, Jeez. that's the opening. Don't even tell me the time that they open it. It doesn't say. Oh, it doesn't God. say. Thanks, God. It's probably 801. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got to find the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that, this is crazy. It is crazy. I'm telling you guys, it is crazy. Um, I'm looking for the uh, the part one more time because I gotta remember you guys that this is uh, you guys have been you've been you know you've been been framed all of you for those uh, not all of you but the majority by joining the private groups. Uh, I'm not very, I'm not very, I, I'm telling you one thing. I'm not the most popular guru out there because of that. Okay? Because of that, I'm not the most popular guru out there. Because I'm anti-private group. All right, so, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hold on, let me just, what is this, man? And the <laughs> UN chief of staff opened it up and he is now 80 years old. <laughs> no way. I'm going to send you this. This is crazy. <laughs> He's 80 years old. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God has a sense of humor. I know. He has a sense of humor. I'm looking for the link that I'm talking about. Um, you look you look away. Yeah. So so we're watching God move and this is how God moves. He sh th we're actually watching shift by shift by shift. He's fish shifting the hearts of people. He's shifting the the governments. Uh we see uh Kim and Trump in the picture. He's shifting those nations. He said he would shift nations. He's shifting Iraq. He's shifting Iran. He's mm. shifting Russia. We just need to keep watching. And, and his hand is everywhere. God's hand is everywhere. And we need to keep watching and praising him and understanding that his timing is perfect. Listen, guys, you can get so focused on a date that you think, okay, that means this is the date or Tuesday. No, he's, he's showing his hand. He's showing that he's moving. He's doing it. Trust him. Just uh, let me show them. you. Let me show you my computer. Let me show you why. Okay, one more time, because I want to make sure why the private groups are the devil. 
Okay, here we First go. First of all, let me tell you, let me remind you who brought out that private bullshit in the Netherlands. Who did it? David Schmidt. Oh, man. David Schmidt <laughs> is the original Family Dragon bullshit. Number two, what dragon means in the Bible? Take a look at the Bible. What does it mean? What does it represent the dragon? The enemy of God. Okay? The enemy of God brought out the private groups. Brought out all the elders and all these people that you know what I'm talking about. Okay? We show, on my show, months ago, when the so-called key lady brought up by Tank told everybody, we don't know who was the, what's the name? Uh, the Almirant. We even know who he was. Saying that the Almiran came over to actually pick up the millions of dollars that he was supposed to pay back to those private groups. She was saying that they were delivering all these millions of dollars and they did not know to who. And then she said they stopped it. And then who actually is behind private groups? And she said it herself, brokers. Brokers are the ones that are called paymasters. Brokers, the paymasters, the banksters are behind private groups. They're the ones that always manipulate the currencies. You talk about manipulation of currencies, why DRB has been delayed many times because of manipulation of currencies. We talk about George Soros and how he actually destroyed countries, manipulating their own currency. Then we talk about how many of you have been brought up to believe there's a dragon family, there's a royal, loyal dragon family in China willing to give all their goals so you can get paid. Because it's literally impossible that a country like Iraq can pay you your exchange. He make you believe that because he knows you believe everything unfortunately the people who are actually involved and most of the people who are involved in these private groups are churches yes christian churches many of them so if you put that part and you put that part that what is that jubilee? What does it mean that jubilee? It's a blessing from God. But at the same time, it's a judgment. And I've been telling you from the very beginning, when my whole life changed, I felt God told me, I want you to scream. I want you to scream and tell the whole world. I want you to insult everybody. I'm going to make myself praise out of a sinner. He called me a sinner. I'm going to make, and I'm going to shock everybody. I'm going to put your name, Benny, in every single lips. Say the Lord. Because you will praise me the way I want to be praised. You will give me the credit that I deserve. That's exactly what I've been doing. Nobody deserves more credit. All the power and all the control 
of Jesus Christ. Nobody else. He even told me, don't stop ever calling yourself Catholic. And I was like, why, my Lord, why? All of them are protesting. I said, don't ever call yourself non-Catholic. Then later on, I found out why he never wanted me to call myself a non-Catholic. When I received all that hate from all, many, many of the Protestants up there, especially in Spanish. So he made me realize what was wrong with his people. Then later on, he told me, you will talk to the Catholics, but not yet. And we see all the things happening right now in front of us. And how we have the potential false prophet, Pope Francis. And we see Mark Taylor coming out with a prophetic word saying that all the corruption will be revealed. And then... All the churches around the world will be affected by it. And I mentioned to my sister why, right? <laughs> yes. And what did I tell you? Why all the churches will be affected? That's one part. Tell them. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. You need to say it. All right. Thanks. The only church in the whole planet that has the most humanitarian project is the Catholic Church. 95% of all the hospitals around the world that are basically Catholic coming from and they are being sponsored by the Vatican's are Catholics. Mm -hmm. We help more Protestants than any other church in the world. We help Muslims, non-believers, Jewish, everybody. Many of these doctors are being paid directly by the Vatican. Many of these people not only receive free medical services, they also receive free home, free food, when the Vatican collapse, mm -hmm. there will be millions of people affected by it. And that's exactly why Mark Taylor said that everybody will be affected, mm -hmm. including Protestants, including Christians. Whether you like it or not, you will be affected. There are many thousands of hundreds of people that are living in a place that at least they have a place because the Vatican's paying for it. They're going to be kicked out when that happens. This is why the prophetic word of Mark Taylor says, and they will say, where do we go now? Not because of the religion, but because they're not going to find anywhere else where to get that help. That's the reason why. And this is the reason, one of the reasons why God wants me to talk to all the Catholics. Because we are going to end up just like the Jewish. Back in that time where they have no land, no place to go. We are going to be the next Jews. We are going to be the remnants of the Catholic Church. We are one of the three groups that they will be on the end times before Christ come back. The Catholics the Protestants, and the Jews. So it's not the end of Catholicism, regardless you want to accept it or not. Amen. It is the end of an administration corrupt enough so God can say, in God, let me just tell you what God says. God sent the prophetic word of Mark Taylor. The Vatican no longer represent my kingdom. Means that we used to represent the kingdom of the living God. Not anymore. 
So we are not that bad, people. We got a lot of stay straight out. But this is not the show to explain it. I'm going to tell you right now is what I'm going to read to you right now. Why you should not be in private groups. Because the Holy Ghost spoke to King Clement. This is not the first time I'm going to bring it up. But it's very, very important that you guys know what I'm talking about. And the word says. Today I just want to share for a few minutes on the dinar. While you are giving. Because some of you invested in the spirit. And the spirit spoke to me. And said there's a great. And letter on coin breakers. We are going to reveal more. There's a great deception. Look what he says. We are going to reveal more. There's a great deception. For those who don't know simple English or complex English, make it, make it simple. They're going to lie to you. Many have been lied to. Many have been lied to. Many are out there that are calling themselves brokers, paymasters, are taking advantage of your innocence. I would call it the other way. That's me. <laughs> They're taking advantage of your greed. Yes, I call you a hypocrite. In many of your lives, hold on to everything because there is a sign. Do you see the sign? What's the sign? Mm -hmm. The tree. The oak tree, right? Yep. You got it, right? Correct. There you go. Also, what's the sign? North Korea, South Korea. Mm -hmm. Right? We got it. And the one thing that I see, and I may want to share when we the core breakers, that's the show that used to come out. Brother, remind me, please, there's something I have to share about what I saw aside from the NASDAQ. We all got to listen carefully. Everybody wants money immediately. We want our billions to drop out in the air. Oh, yes, I know that. <laughs> in the meantime, so now. If you sow now, you will begin ripped and that will come. Now, let me explain to you about sowing now. How many times I have told you do not depend on DRB only? Many times, huh? Right? Oh, yes. And I told you invest. Invest with me. I will show you how to invest. And no, I'm not going to make you broke. I posted something that you can mine Litecoin as little as $5. Five dollars. Now I totally understand many of you cannot even afford five dollars. That's fine. Not everybody can do it. But for those who are so tied with money, try five dollars. Is there a risk? Everything in life is a risk. Absolutely. Everything in life is a risk. Is a risk. But you need to reset your mind, people. So right now, so in the future, you get something to cover your ass. And I'm sorry that I said that word, but you need to wake up. Okay? Cover your back. So, look what he says. But, now, but do the sowing now so that God can give you seed to the sower. Regarding the dinar, everybody sitting. Because, you know, he had a people sitting, right? Mm -hmm. Watching now. All you want to hear is, when is going to happen? So from that time, everybody didn't care about the word of God. All he cares is when we're going to get paid. <laughs> and still, I got retards testing me today, and I blocked them. Hey, Benny. Stop that bullshit and tell me when we're going to exchange like that. Uh, I'm not joking about it. I'm not lying to you. That's rude. He told me straight out. Hey, man, do me a favor and stop that bullshit. And they just tell me when I'm going to exchange. I'll block him up. Do you really think I don't get these retards 
every day, I get them all the time. Yep. So if it happens to the prophet, it will happen to everybody. When is the revaluation going to take place? What revaluation? Said the prophet. Look, he asking, what revaluation? First, all I hear what God said a while ago and connect the dots because this is what happens at the end. And is we find what God saying so that we could connect the dots. Like I might show, I connecting the dots. I'm connecting the pieces together. And be the right place at the right time at the right season for the right reason. What is the reason? Help the poor. Help the lonely. And the hungry. Not to be filthy rich. This is the dinar. For those who wants to know, hold that up. By the way, it's a color that I prophesied about many years ago. That some of you should go and dwell into because there are many little things out there. A lot of people wants to make a lot of money quickly. And sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't happen. Like the Zimbabwe. Most times it doesn't. The key I found is to sow. You see what the key is? The key is I found is to sow. So where there's life. Many of you don't care about your life. Many of you forget to go to the doctor and take care of yourself. Many of you said, hey, I just want to be rich. <clears throat> so where there is a purpose in God says something, I found that brings prosperity. Prosperity doesn't mean necessarily having millions of dollars in the bank. Prosperity is what we are experiencing. We have nothing in the bank. However, we will fill up very quickly. And it will go very quickly. Because, because to me, the point of prosperity is philanthropy. It is a habit. Okay? In other words, we are good to others. And I'll get the point now. All right, so we already know that brokers are behind private groups. And that is why I keep telling you, I'm sorry to be the worst of all gurus. You're not going to get paid. Mark my words. Okay? When I talk to bankers, they tell me, Benny, with all due respect, I don't like to talk like that. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about like that. They don't know anybody that is into private exchanges. Let me just explain to you why they call it private exchange. It's a currency swap. Currency swap may look like an exchange, but it's not an exchange. And when this, these people that takes, that takes part of this event calling, call, call currency swap, they pay millions of dollars to exchange what they want to swap when the right time happens. And they, it's not even controlled by the government. It's not even controlled by any banks. Okay? So, to think that a broker will be a saint, and he will be the nicest man in the world, that he's going to remember you, to pay you back your money, because you gave it without no receive, no nothing, to a complete stranger, is the most stupid shit I ever seen in my entire life. And you deserve to be treated like that because if you so idiot give your money 
you are willing to also give your only son and daughter baby into the hand of a pedophile for the sake and the sake of money isn't it but then again I'm not your daddy Did I make myself clear, sister? Absolutely awesome. 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 Okay. All right. So, <laughs> the next segment. <laughs> oh, boy. The next segment is brought to you by Gigi. Oh. Gigi is a online casino created, brought by created, brought by, and created by the Holy Spirit and the Word of the Living God, a Christian. So people who are believers can actually get the blessings of an investment from something that is being used in the Word. We're not from the Word, but we live in the Word. Can we all agree with that? Amen. You don't need to play like Jack. You don't need to play. But it would be really nice if you bring people to play. Because we need to collect 100,000 people playing every single day. When the company collects all these people, we all going to get paid according to the shares that we have purchased. And according to the many potential investment or return that Gigi can provide to the shareholders, I'm going to make millions to a lot of people. Did I make myself clear? Mm -hmm. Now the share used to be cost $120 each. Now, sorry. Done. Now the share are costing it costs $200 each. This is your second and may be your last chance to join. After you'll see my, my, my um, how do you call it? My, my referral link. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can copy it. You can type it on your browser. Go there, register. I'll enjoy having you under me. You can do yourself and bring all your friends including those who don't want to even buy shares, but just want to buy, just want to play poker for free. And if they win, they can win real money. If they win, you win. And guess what? Also, Gigi, yield money, a percentage of your earnings, and a percentage of your winnings to your favorite charity. Yes, it will give money to your favorite charity. And what does that mean for you as an investor? It means that by the end of this fiscal year, if you get rich and you need to report to Uncle Sam, you can bring up and say, look, I've been giving part of my earnings to this charity. That what does that mean for you? Potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes, savings on taxes. This is one platform that has everything. That can bring joy, that can bring blessings. If you need, if you want to become rich, I always have said it, you need to have a vision. If you don't have a vision, get out. Don't waste your time. That's perfectly fine. Not everybody must be a rich people. Some people I even find out a, a guy and say, look, man, I really don't care about money. I just want to be a servant. Like that. That's fine. I got mm -hmm. no problem with that. I really got no problem with that. I really enjoy going to a place and having somebody to clean my shoes. Hey, what can I tell you? But there you go. If you really want to change the life of yourself and your family, that's my link. And this next segment is called, If You Didn't Know, <laughs> Now You Know. 
So what exactly I'm talking about? Okay, for that, I'm gonna have to play a video. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Hold on. Let's watch this video, and I'm gonna tell you what you did in now. Welcome back to Currency 365, September 21st, 2018. Okay, so yesterday we talked about Zimbabwe and um, the confusion that was going on with the uh, finance minister. And uh, there was a poll, uh, and that was about the bond notes, right? And so there's a, there was a poll that they did uh, asking the citizens. Now, of course, when we talk about polls, we don't know who's actually being asked or if the polls are made up or if they're actually talking to real people in the streets. So we don't know. But uh, there was a poll done, and uh, and it resulted as the Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe people um want to use the U.S. dollar or the Zim dollar uh, only and not the um, South African rand, okay? So, um, interesting. Interesting that they still want to use the dollar, but they also want to use the Zim dollar. So, now, of course, they have the bond notes, but the bond notes are worthless and you know, we had the uh, confusion of should we take, you know, not accept the bond notes or accept the bond notes. And we, we covered that in the last video. So it says majority of the Zimbabweans uh, would be happy to adopt the U.S. dollar or the Zimbabwe dollar. Uh, and so that's a good sign, this, you know, that the citizens would like to use the Zimbabwe dollar, uh, their own currency. Right. So we want to see that. We want to see them want to use their own currency. OK, so that's a good sign. Um, but, I, you know, it says here that. The 50 percent of the people that were polled want to use the U.S. dollar. OK, and 42 percent would want to use the uh, Zimbabwe dollar. It should be the Zimbabwe. You're, you're you should want to be proud of your national currency. Right. So uh, I would want to see that higher number. OK, over the dollar. Uh, but of course, it's going to take uh, economic reforms and purchasing power backed by um, minerals assets and things like that, gold and silver, oil to to get people believing in their own currency again. OK, so it says here um, they would rather use uh, the dollar or the Zim dollar as only currency. OK, and um, adverse to the uh, use of the bond notes, uh, according to a recent public opinion survey that, they, that was released yesterday afternoon. OK, uh, well, yes, it says yesterday, so I'm not sure it was afternoon or not, but um, <clears throat> OK. So let's see what else it says here. It says uh, uh, the continued use of the bond notes is being viewed as adversely affecting the gains of the ec economic recovery. OK, yeah, uh, so you can see it there. And, that, and the reason why is because of the liquidity crunch. OK. Uh, and the uh, prices are going up, commodity prices and everything is just skyrocketing up, inflation, inflation, inflation. Okay, so good. I mean, they, they'd rather use their own notes, right? 42% rather use their, uh, and I know some people are, uh, are saying, well, we, we some, well, the person down here in the comment section says uh, that they want to use their South African RAND. Says, okay, so this person said, frankly, I would rather have the RAND than the Zim dollar. We already have the de facto Zim dollar in bond notes, and it's worthless. So once again, the, the, the bond notes are getting in the way from the Zim dollar, right? Because they're both basically the same thing, and they're both worthless. So they need to phase out the bond notes, right? And they need to add purchasing power to the Zim dollar, okay, notes that are not the bond notes. So remove the bond notes, remove them out the way by the economic reforms, and put purchasing power behind the Zim dollar notes, right? And and get those things back and attach those things with gold and silver and, and some type of uh, asset, Um OK, this person says uh, that's not what Zimbabweans want. I don't think <laughs> there is any Zimbabwe who wants Zimbabwean dollars. It's just the same as a bond. So there, there you go. So 
So, and that's correct. It's just the same as the bond. So you got to remove the bond, right? Just like another country has to remove the three zero notes, right? So, uh, you know, so you have to remove the three zero notes. And then in Zimbabwe, you have to remove the bond notes, right? So you can have the Zim dollar stand on its own and give purchasing power to it with and, and back it with assets, right? So cool. So anyways, I'm, I'm glad to see that 42% of the poll want to actually use their own currency. And because that's going to be uh, the supply versus demand, the demand to use your own currency out there in your country and also out in the marketplace. OK, so um, good. So we'll see what happens here going forward with Zimbabwe. Um, very intriguing. I do not own Zimbabwe uh, notes. I don't have any any bond notes or any notes in Zimbabwe. I'm just doing the articles just uh, and it's, it's very intriguing to me. So uh, I'm doing the article and that's it. So let me go here and let's check out uh, the Dow Jones. As Dow Jones continues to break records here, continuing to hire and uh, not looking weak at all. Um, S&P 500 is actually red. NASDAQ is red. So maybe, you know, maybe the uh, Dow will follow, uh, you know, later into the afternoon, into after hours or whatever. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, global Dow is green. Gold is down again today, back to 1200, 1202 right now. So it looks like 1200 could be a nice base of support. If 1200 breaks again, then you put people are probably going to start thinking, okay, 1200 breaking again, and uh, it might continue. We might continue downwards um, to 11 something, maybe 1180, 1170. I'm not sure. But I have to look at the chart, of course. But uh, um, and then here's oil sitting over 70 bucks. The dollar is strong today at 94.21. OK, so looking good. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. Also, um, Facebook, uh, PayPal freezes and removes a partnership with Alex Jones. Wow. So, you know. Uh, Alex Jones. I don't know where Alex Jones is going to be to get money now. I, I, cryptocurrency is going to be the savior for Alex Jones. You know, for you guys that support Alex Jones, for you guys that don't support Alex Jones, doesn't matter to me. I'm um, just letting you guys know. PayPal removes their relationship with Alex Jones and uh, and uh, removes his account. So. I guess people were donating to him on through PayPal, and now you can't. So now the only means to really support Alex Jones is probably Patreon and and uh, cryptocurrencies, right? So interesting. Uh, for those that do support him, I, I don't, I haven't sent anything, and you know what I mean. But I do support free speech. Um, okay. So, anyways, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, yeah, that's it. Peace out. Oh, sorry. As you can see, guys, Alex Jones has been attacked by the establishment, and now he needs our help. If we don't support ourselves, who's going to do it? This is the machine that is called the establishment. Now, PayPal has removed him. They can do that with him, they can do it against me. They can. So what exactly you didn't know? Well, first of all, you know that PayPal is also part of the establishment. You didn't know, ah, you know. What else is about are you there? Karen? Oh, I got a caller. <laughs> what else is about the bonds? All right. So I I totally agree that we shouldn't have not we shouldn't have a bond in that stupid note because I told you the bonds has no value. There is no bond. That many of you were told that you were going to redeem that that currency. That's fact. But guess what? Let me tell you something that you didn't know. Are you ready? Here we go. What is the one market that needs to fall and collapse in order to have the financial collapse? 
Do you know? Do you know, sister? Um, the bond market. Exactly. The bond market sustained the American dollar. Okay. Yes. The bond market sustained the American dollar. If the bond market collapse, so it will be the index of the American dollar. And it will devalue. Wow. So what happened if the market, if the bond market collapse? Here comes the emerging markets. New bonds will come out with value. When these new markets come out and a bond is created in Zimbabwe with technology, not whatever you guys heard about the bond right now. I'm talking about right now. If we got the financial collapse right now and there's only one thing that has value, which is technology or oil. They need to come out with an emerging market based on a bond. And if they come out with that bond and they back that currency, the Zimbabwe, with that bond, maybe you can exchange your currency. Mm -hmm. That's a maybe. Okay? You didn't know. Now you know. <laughs> All right, so that was brought to you by. If you didn't know. Gigi. Okay, <laughs> I was brought to you by Gigi. Now let's take a look at the next uh, news that I'm going to talk about it. And by the way, the uh, I just got a breaking news right now. Okay. I just got breaking news and it says like this. Hold on. It says the Secretary of Hold on. Is it Secretary of External Affairs? The Secretary of External Affairs, Ibrahim Jafari. He's the one who went to New York and meet everybody in the UN. It is not mentioning a body. Hmm. Wow. Isn't that something? That's interesting. A body is not going there. He pulled himself out. Isn't that something? I know I'm going to, we're all going to get shocked. <laughs> we wow. Know, I know God has something to shock us. Trust me. I got it's already no started. <laughs> I got no doubt that we are going to get shocked. Not at all. Let's take a look now to the markets. Let me tell you what they're doing, what they're actually doing. They're calling a collision between the United States and China. And you know what's going to happen after collision, right? Yes. Crash. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> crash. That's the front page of the market watch. And it's saying it right there. Gotta pay attention to the news because those are fact that fairy tales. The down and SP 500 records believe festering fear that China and the United States are on a collision course. Amen. Is Wall Street ignoring the potential for a simmering trade conflict with China to intensify up the up in the stock market? Newfound, my goodness, what is that word? Buoyancy. It may hurt. It might. It may be hard to fathom that consternation tied to the President Donald Trump hardline stance with China, Europe, and other major economies may bubble up into something more severe for investors after the Dow Jones Industrial Average has 32% because we are going to the roof. 
Wow. And will gold go up? It will go even higher. I believe it probably even mid 30,000. That's supposed to be the break in the system. Praise God. Okay. So, like I told you, we are go we are about to get really really um shock. I believe we are going to get shocked before the month is over. Because I got a date. Remember I told you. I got a date and it's not October. I'm going to repeat Amen. that again. I got a date and it's not October. So before October show up, wait for instructions. Simple. All right, so what's the other thing I want to talk about? Uh, oh, I got this. I want you guys to listen to. Remember when we were looking for the prophetic word? Yes. And we and we saw a uh, prophet um, <coughs> Hank Kuderman. Hank Kuderman, yes. Hank Kuderman, Hank Kuderman, and. Do you see that? Do you have that video? I gave it to you, right? Uh, yes, I have it. I have it. Hang Send on. it to me, please. I want to play it right now. I want my people to watch the the, the beautiful the beautiful prophetic world of Hank Kuhneman. Okay, hang on. I want to play it. I want to play it. <laughs> okay. Hang, uh, hang yes. on, hang on. All right. I got so many things open here. Oh, my goodness. Help okay. me, Jesus. I want to play that prophetic word. We're going to end with that prophetic word because you got to know that it's going to happen this year. Are you listening? The RB is going to happen this year, people. Okay, Jenny. Right? Okay, Doing news, on. global perception. Okay, hold on. You send it to me? I'm trying. I can't find I I've okay. got it here. Okay. I can't access the file. Okay. Hang on. All right. We're going to take a little while. I should be ready for that, but I've been so busy. Mm -hmm. And so let me just take a look at my jets right now. And all these windows are open up exactly when I'm doing my show. Why are you guys doing that? <laughs> Man, you guys really don't listen to me, man. Stop testing me while I'm doing my show, man. <laughs> don't you get it? I'm live. And I want to get to all the applications. I can't do it because you guys want my attention for crying out loud. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Hold on. You see, that's that's why I don't want people to be waiting for because I'm closing all these windows. Jeez. Anyway. Okay. I think I have a oh my goodness, I got a call. Hold on. Alright, so the prophetic word of what's his name? <laughs> Hank. Hank. <laughs> Hank. <laughs> My goodness, Kuhneman. I, Hank Kuhneman. Yes, he's an awesome Kuhneman. prophet. Yeah, yeah no, he was he's friends awesome with Kim. Prophet. Yeah, he knows I, Kim. I'm very bad with names. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm terrible. He's friends with my boss. Oh, he is. You know yeah. him personally? No, not well. Not no, not personally. Just you know, hi. You've never seen him <laughs> personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not, you know, sitting in and having coffee or anything like that. Oh, okay. All right, so. Okay, is it the one regarding the Iran, Egypt, and China? No, sweetie. It's regarding the currency revaluations. Oh, okay, yeah. I can't access it. I don't know why. Oh, my it God. It, it won't oh let me in. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, let me, let me see if I can find it myself. Sorry. And this was done in the beginning of the year, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. And he even said to himself, let me go to my history okay. of all the videos I'm playing. Um, and uh, I, will, I, I, will, I want to close the show with that prophecy. 
um, is beautiful. Oh, here it is. Did you get it? It's called A Prosper Year for God's People. Oh, I got it too. Okay. Yeah. So, hold on. Let me just... Let me just take this out because I don't want to be showing all these people commercial. I want to just download it. Maybe I can take one minute to download it. Uh, let me see if I can download it right now. All right. I it's only five lot. minutes. Eh, yeah. It's only, it's only, eh, eh, it's only uh, 30 seconds. Okay, Hold on. there you go. Hold on. Let me just uh, get it ready here. I'm ready to do this in high definition. It will take only, well, it's five minutes, but it's two minutes to download. That's it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very, so very it's two fast. minutes to download. And when I'm done with this, I'm going to play that prophetic word. And I also want to make a little announcement. That it will, the world, the world, oh my God. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The <laughs> world. The, there is no show tomorrow. Uh, it's going to be 5 p.m. I got another show in Spanish at 7. If in case, I want to make sure that everybody understands this. If in case something happened in the next hour and, and, and so, because I've been told that something is about to happen. I'm not joking about it. If something happens... In about two hours or an hour, I will post it on Facebook. I'm going to ask you, please come over to my Spanish show so you guys can um, know what happened. Okay? I'm going to keep you updated. I'm going to make it a little bit bilingual. And I'm going to finish it with the Spanish because it's not fair for my Spanish people yeah. that I spend it in, you know, the whole thing in English too. So mm -hmm. I will post it on Facebook. If there is something relevant, very important that I need to share with all of you. Okay. Um, okay. I only got, man, this thing. I don't know. Why is this taking so long? Man? I'm going to high my, definition. High uh, definition. No wonder. Okay. It's almost done. Okay. About 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. No, Let no. me share. No, no. How no, long is it gonna hold take? On, let me, let me, let me play myself. Okay. Let me play. Okay. Maybe I, yeah, I think I can do this. Hold on, hold on. Let me just play. Let me stream it right now, okay, guys. Okay. All right. So enjoy it. Hope you like it. Let's see. It's awesome. Oops. Oh, uh, it's not working. Hold on, guys. It's not working. All right. So hold on. I got to finish this. Don't go. All right. Don't worry about it. I'm almost, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, hold on. Let me just close this up. I'm going to play now the video. I'm done. This should be a year, says the Spirit of God. As I walk among the earth, as I walk among this nation, the United States, but I walk upon this earth. The earth shakes, the mountains erupt, the winds blow with great force. Yes, my kingdom is unlocking upon this earth and this nation, the United States, and it shall be known as a year of records. Watch the records that shall be broken and records that shall be made. And I don't just speak of your weather, but God says, I speak of events and I speak of the accomplishments among men. It shall be a year that they shall say, look at the records that were made. Look at the records that were broken. Why is this? For God says, I want you to understand that this marks what I'm doing among my people is record breaking manifestations. God says, I'm infusing and injecting my hand, my spirit, my will, and my desire in the earth. Criticize if you may. For watch the unprecedented things 
that shall begin to manifest over this nation and your government. God says record breaking in your economy, record breaking in your stocks, record breaking says the Lord in how I am going to begin to unlock the treasures, unlock discoveries. I'm going to unlock things that will stimulate the economy of this nation and the nations of the earth. And the Lord says I have had enough of my people who've had have had to do without and they've struggled and they struggled and they struggled. The Lord says, let the record show now that I'm infusing myself and interjecting myself on your behalf. That you will have record-breaking year two. For this is not just limited for those in the earth without my people being blessed. Watch and see for you will taste and you will see that the Lord is good unto you. Even now, the Lord says, reach into your pocket and say, the days of emptiness is over. The days of lack are over because I'm going to put forth into the hands of my people resources like you have not seen before. For you've read in the scriptures where there were wealth transfers and you only thought that that was just reserved for those times. Not so! Once again, I shall unlock the economy. I shall unlock unlock the currencies. I shall unlock natural gas, oil. And I will cause resources to come. Why is this? Because I'm shaking everything that can be shaken for the purpose that men shall call upon the name of my son to be saved. And watch how I shake the European unions once more. Not just once more, but some more. Come on, lift up your hands. I can just see where it's like God is reaching down to touch us and just as it would be lift up your hand as it would be that God would come now and touch your hand Father we thank you place your hand upon our hands place your hand upon our lives place your hands upon our families our resources, our finances Lord, our bodies and inject a supernatural grace that shall be greater than any former season of our lives. Because, Lord, you say, behold, look, I do a new thing. And the new thing shall be a great thing. And that is that we shall testify God's people of his goodness, but of his provision his blessing now I want you to say that say Lord I receive that in my life I receive your touch I receive the blessing from your hands that comes upon me now I receive it I receive it same day blessings same day blessings same day blessings I receive it in my life in the name of Jesus I receive it. Okay, so are you going to receive your same day blessing? Because we've been talking about this. We've been talking about that everything is going to happen in one day. In one day, you will be blessed. In one day, you are going to be happy. You are going to be awake. You're going to be shocked, people. One day. Not two. Not three. Not four. In one day, all of you will be shocked. And also my sister will be shocked. I will. So let me also 
bring up to your attention if you have not read the prophetic word of prophetess Lana Bowser Lana Bowser came out with a prophecy directed to the United States of America uh, prophet Hank is, am I saying right? I'm sorry. I'm really bad with that. Hank, Hank, Hank Kuhneman. Hank Kuhneman. Prophet Kuhneman. Yes. Talks about breakings. Record breakings. Right? Yes. We're seeing that the right now is we're watching that. Look, the Dow Jones is almost 28,000. <laughs> wow. It's almost 28,000. Okay. The down yours right now. Let me, let me take a look right now because as we're speaking, it's going up. Wow. It's going down. It's going up. It's going 26,743. Almost 27,000. <laughs> okay? And it's, ground, it's groundbreaking right now. The oil is $70, the oil. Praise God. Okay, and we got to watch gold price. Let's talk about gold. Because we need to check that gold price today. Hey, oh, my goodness. Let's take a look at the gold price because today we got uh, news that is going up. Actually, it's 1,199 is going down. That's what I thought. It's going down. It's going down. It looked like it probably go up a little bit. But not that much. You know, so we are talking about breaking. Right now we're seeing gold prices weaker amid ambit investor attitudes. The other news is about 10 hours ago, gold prices remained down following mixed preliminary US pay amount data. 10 hours ago, also Standard Charter sees gold rising after funk meeting. So... They are waiting for a rebound. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for a rebound. How about silver? Let's take a look at the silver price today. As you know, I purchased silver. Right now, silver is $14.37. If you're smart enough, I don't have to tell you what to do. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't need to tell you what to do. You don't need... Somebody validation because you're my jet. You're Amen. smart enough to know what you're gonna do. If it is cheap, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm right? gonna buy. Exactly. Okay. That's I why I I telling you right now I'm promoting mining Litecoin. Why? Because Litecoin right now is rising. Litecoin is a cryptocurrency that has a, a a organic grow. How? Why is it called organic grow? Because contrary to Bitcoin, Bitcoin is on demand, so it can go up in one day thousands of dollars. But the same way, it can go down and collapse. Litecoin is not that way. It will grow little by little, just like a tree. But as it grows, if it goes down, it's not going to collapse because it's organic. That is why I'm promoting mining Litecoin. And, um, and I will leave, for those on YouTube, I'm going to leave my link underneath. Join me. You can invest as little as $5. Just $5, people. If you can have, if you can have a four five dollars that's fine. I'm not blaming you. Okay, just blame what you can afford to lose. Just invest what you can afford to lose. I'm sorry for that. You just invest what you can afford to lose. And you'll be a wiser investor. You need to be a wiser. Don't be throwing money like crazy. Also, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave a link under my video. You need to register to vote. For my liberal friends who are watching my news or my video, you're not going to like this. But I'm telling everybody, vote Republican. <laughs> okay? Why? Because liberals are destroying this country. Amen. Okay? So, 
Just because of that, you gotta set in those liberals who are watching my video. Don't blame me, Ben. All right? We gotta just... send a message to your party, to your political party, and tell them, stop it, man. Just, just stop it, this madness. We can do this the right way by voting. Tell them, tell, tell you, you send a message by voting against your own party. Tell them, send them a message. I don't like this. We can we can do this the simple way and the legal way, by Joe's by Joe's vote against Donald Trump, and that's it. But why do they have to come out with all lies and accusations? Because they're not part of the club. Donald Trump is not part of the club. And the club is called Illuminati. You don't understand that. Okay? So, I encourage all my liberal friends to vote against the Democratic Party. So they can have a message. And I'm telling one thing. I know real progressive Democrats, real ones. They're looking to make another party. I'm not joking about it. They don't want to be part of the Democratic Party. They're looking to make another political party. And, let's, and guess what? Let me just tell you something. King Clement prophesied that there will be a second, there will be another party and will replace the Democratic Party. If you didn't know that, now you know. So this is no coincidence. There will be another party and will replace the Democratic corrupt party. Now I also would like to talk about, just before I leave, about that the uh, deceased, uh, the president of Vietnam passed away. Yes. And he was 61 years old. Let me tell you something that little I knew about him. This man did not want to give, well, now he's dead. He just <laughs> did not want to give his people purchasing power. And now he's dead. Now, hopefully, mm -hmm. we get another one who will actually give their people the purchasing power they need. We need to pray for that. And when it happens... We're all going to be happy. I have told you that the best investment you ever do is with the dumb. I have always said it. I even done shows called The Dumb Will Be The Bomb. I know it. And if you didn't know about it, no. now you know. <laughs> all right? So, um, oh, I got a, I got a beautiful, beautiful, um, hold on. Let me just take a look at this. I got a beautiful test, beautiful, um, tw a tweeting, a beautiful tweeting for my brother in Christ, John Nigo. Oh, great. Yes. Beautiful tweeting. Let me just post it right now. Okay. Uh, let me, let me show it to you guys. Look what he said. He came out with the numbers. Take a look at what he said. Take a look what Johnny just posted right now. I'm clicking. I cannot come out. I can't. I can't get out. I'm falling. I can't get out. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> remember that commercial? Well, yeah. Guys, I'm too, too young, probably. <laughs> Back in the days, we used to have this old lady. Falling, I can't get out. She's already, she's already in the floor, and she's saying, "I'm falling, I can't get out." <laughs> All right, let me tell you. Let me show you this. You're showing your age. Yes. Global currency reset. Global currency. Global reset of currencies in full force. Eighty percent of 143 currencies are falling. Wow. 80% people. And let me tell you something that I don't need to be a prophet. I don't need to be a psychic. 
I mm -hmm. don't need to be Einstein. Guess <laughs> what's happening after this? Can somebody tell me what's going to happen after this? The break in the system. Well, yes, but why happen? What, where exactly going to happen? We got 80% of all the currencies falling. The last what's 20 will tell you. The RV. Exactly. We are going to see revaluations. <laughs> Why? Amen. Because anything that falls needs to come out. If you have value, it needs to show it up. If you have gold, it needs to come out. If you have oil, it needs to come out. Because if they don't, they will be banished from the international market. They are being basically forced. But the power of the living God. We are Praise almost God. there, people. I'm going to post this later on. Please take a look at Prophetess Lana Bowser prophecy. Uh, if you haven't seen it, and uh, it's called, let me see, what is it called? The, the United States, right? Uh, I have not seen it, Ben. Oh, you haven't seen it? You no. haven't even read it? No. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, let me let me take a look. Um, I know I had it somewhere. Hold on. Oh, here it is. Oh, no, 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 not this. Uh, no, uh, no, I don't have it here. Uh oh. Okay, okay, all right, all right. All right, <laughs> hold on. Nope, I don't have it here. I gotta go down. All right, hold on. Let me just. I was with people can just stop testing me, man. Seriously. <laughs> I cannot do anything here. Um. All right. So, in the in the prophetic world of Lana Bowser, is talk about. A prophecy sent by, to the United States, okay? Mm -hmm. And let's talk about uh, Prophet uh, Kamen? Kanan? Kumanen. Kumanen. Kuneman. 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 Well, Prophet <laughs> Kunan. He talks about, he talks about uh, you know, breaking records. And the same thing was with, uh, with Lana Bowser. She's talking yep. about breaking records. She yeah, get ready for another major demonstration of my power. There you go. Can you read that? The whole thing? Yeah, not the whole thing, but the most important thing. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm just making it expand. Um, okay, she's saying she heard a huge, saw a, a vision, a huge whirlwind, and then she said, I heard these booming words, every corner of the nation, which is the U.S., shall see my power. The glory of the Lord is stepping in. The King of glory is stepping in. The King of glory is stepping in with the roar of justice. Um, I see a huge gavel coming out of heaven and landing heavily upon the nation. The gavel is so big that it covered the entire nation, and the Lord spoke every part of this nation of the U.S. will be affected. It is a tidal wave of my justice. It is a tidal wave of my justice. It's an earthquake of my glory and my alignment. There is another level of alignment being released in the United States that is going to be seen in major ways in the coming days. Call it in, my people. Call it in, my people. You have no grid for what I am about to do, for it will leave you in awe and wonder of who I am and what I can do. The land will be covered in awe, and the land, uh, and the Lord says uh, that there's a huge golden blanket that is going to cover the nation. It is a heavy blanket of the golden glory of God. It is so heavy. It is beautiful. Um, he said, I am restoring the land. 
The land will be covered in the awe of God. Uh, I am sending another breaker. I'm sending another breaker. Uh, and the, I saw, she saw the angel Gabriel land in the United States and he was coming to announce the decree of God. He had a trumpet in his hand to announce and herald in a shift that is about to take place in the nation. He had come to the trumpet. He had, sorry, he had come to trumpet the beginning of another major move of the power of God in the USA. As he blew the trumpet, I saw a large book over the United States, and the hand of God turned the page. It is a time for a new page. It is a time for a new script and a new decree of the Lord. The time has come. New beginning of seeing the power of God is demonstrated. The Lord is going to reveal himself in great ways again, yet in it is uh, a completely new way that he is the God of breakthrough. He is the God of justice. He is the God of the impossible. There is about to be a major demonstration of God's power. Um, and this is what the Lord said, and this is uh, near the end. Anything that tries to get written over my script will be overcome by the power of my blood. He is going to, Amen. He's going to reveal himself as a major warrior, a mighty warrior. He's going to reveal himself as the dread champion. He's going to reveal himself to the United States as the king of kings. Wow. The United, that? That's amazing. The yeah. United States of... Hey, it shows, it shows what I've been telling you, that he's going to bend everybody's knees. Mm-hmm. That's the he's same. He's going to bend everybody's knees. God told me that. I'm going to make everybody bend their knees for me. Praise God. You know, yeah. this, this yeah. is how powerful my Lord is. Is he only using one finger? Wow. He told me that I'm so powerful, I'm only using one finger. <laughs> wow. One finger. And he's destroying everything. He's removing everything that is preventing us to have the blessing. Yeah, he says he's unlocking it. Unlocking it. Yes. With one finger, Un people. One finger. Now let me talk about this. The U.S. Secretary suddenly closes. It was not a fall of UFOs, but a child pornography. Mm -hmm. I told you that they are not going to tell you the real reasons. They're not ready yet. Okay. Those pictures that you see over the internet, they're not fake. I reported. I already knew what it was about. And let it be like that. People are not ready for the disclosure. Period. That's um, okay. And as last, I would like to thank Pastor McCoy. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. And Mr. Wilson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being with me. I'll come back to you later on. Okay. And uh, I want to I wanna tell everybody, guys, that uh, there's nothing I wish more than walk up out my door in my apartment right now and sing happily that everything has done. Nothing will make me more happier than see all of you happy. Seriously. But we need to be patient. A little bit more patient. We are on September the 21st. The month is not over. The date of the elite has not come yet. I will not reveal the day that they gave me this time. For the sake of our blessing.